Scott, thank you for being with us this morning. Four people lost their lives from these tornadoes. What happened? Yeah, uh, so as, as your, your meteorologist was discussing, there was a severe tornadic activity. We've not seen anything like that in this area. Um, and I think those are very difficult to prepare for. We're used to preparing for hurricanes. Uh, when something like these tornadoes, and, and so many of these tornadoes occur, uh, it can be very difficult to, to prepare for the, that sort of uh, sudden storm. And so it, it really was uh, you know, something that was unprecedented, but also incredibly sad and, uh, for those, those folks that have lost uh, their, their lives, uh, as well as folks whose homes and properties were damaged. Indeed. How, how widespread and intense was the damage? So what I think what you've seen, and we're still doing a lot of assessments in the city, as well as uh, the St. Lucie County, our partners there are still doing a lot of assessments. And I think what, what you've seen is a lot of very localized damage. Uh, whereas when we see a lot of uh, hurricane damage, typically, that seems more widespread. And so this is you're seeing it in pockets, maybe more so than traditional hurricane damage, where you're seeing severe flooding, you're seeing a severe wind damage that's sustained. Uh, so this is a, a very unique, I think, for this area. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's something that is, again, very difficult to prepare for. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is. And, and so unexpected, even though we knew that this hurricane was coming. But, you know, way across the other part of the state that this would would happen. Uh, what resources do you need? I mean, is there something that you need? How can we all help you all? Well, the, the governor is coming to St. Lucie County, uh, I believe, in about an hour. Um, you know, we work very closely with our, our county. Uh, I think at this point, really going through the assessment will be the, the next important stage to determine what those needs are um, and then how we can provide those to residents. Now, what do you see as the next days and weeks looking like for you all? Yeah, and again, I think that'll be dependent on the assessment of what we see and what the damage is. Like, uh, as of 9 a.m., about 25 percent of the city was uh, without power. But, you know, I think by and large, we we withstood the storm as well as could be expected, given the unprecedented nature of what this this storm brought. Scott Samples, I thank you very much for being with us. Really appreciate your time.